So today's test subject is a Fujitsu Siemens Esprimo Mobile V5535. This was made in 2007 and for the era it has OK specs. It was designed as a business machine. So it has an Intel Celeron clocked in at 2.0 GHz. It has 2 GB of SD RAM and its original operating systems were Vista, XV and Nopix Linux. It has three USB, I think they're type 2.0 ports or 1.0 even. Uh, which are bootable that I'll be using today and for a few, full overview of this laptop I have a link in the description. So let's get started. Right so let's try to install Windows 7 on this machine that is 7 Professional and this machine is currently running Vista Business. I think it will run Windows 7 without an issue, seeing as it is the next operating system on, and it has roughly the same specs as Vista. So, let's see what happens. So Windows 7 has installed successfully and all is good in the world. So let's now start to push the boat out and see if it installs Windows 8 onto this machine. This is going to be interesting because Windows 8 was released in 2012 so it's going to be a slightly more of a challenge for this old hardware to handle. Uh, Windows 8.1, which is a free upgrade to Windows 8, is still supported and will be until I think it's about 2023. So this is a relatively modern system still. Okay, let's see what happens. Right, so Windows 8 has loaded and its questionable user interface has also unfortunately loaded successfully, um, but I'm not going to get into a rant about Windows 8. So let's now see if this installs Windows 10. Right, so now the real torture begins. Let's try to install Windows 10 on this machine, which it is not even remotely designed for because fun. Um, now this is one of the very early versions of Windows 10, it was one of the 2015 releases and 2015 was when Windows 10 first was released. It was quite different from how it is today, but uh, we're going to be installing this old version of Windows 10 on this machine first to see if that runs, and then if it does, then we're going to try the very latest version of Windows 10. So, let the fun begin. Well, it runs one of the very early versions of Windows 10 and it seems to run it very well. And uh, you can see the build number there. So I decided to launch the update assistant and see if it ran the very latest. And well, it was all going so well. I thought it was going to be a piece of cake and the world is brilliant. And well, nothing is quite as easy as it seems. As you can see, it ran into this blue screen. Um, and the error code basically says there's an issue with the drivers, as you can see. Um, it comes up with that black sort of line in the middle of the screen, and that can be fixed by pressing FN and F10 at the same time. So it's obviously a graphics issue, so I uninstalled the graphics driver, which is designed for Vista. 
Um, and then I relaunched setup and let's see what happens this time. Okay, so it thinks that it has got a microphone. Little does it know, it is a complete and utter relic. So let's say for fun, let's accept voice recognition, even though it doesn't have a microphone. Um, and I'm just going to accept all of this. I don't expect that this could be used on a day-to-day -day basis, to be honest. Um, it is such a complete antique, it's not going to be able to uh, run much of today's programs. Probably surf the web and check emails and that sort of thing, but that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's running on version 1909, and it has a lot of updates to get through. Right, so this was quite a success really, um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and Windows 10 does look a bit out of place on this machine. So, if you feel like supporting my channel, then please feel free to give it a subscribe, and I hope to see you all for the next Mad Experiment. Thank you very much, and have a great day.